Hi everybody, it's Rebecca from Avon Co-op. I just wanted to pop on and tell you guys a story today. Uh, the story I'm going to tell is based on the book Mouse Count by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Um, I do my own version of it though. Uh, I think that some of the children might recognize this, especially if they were ever in my class over the past few years. Um, it's one of my favorites to tell. It's a lot of fun. I hope that you guys uh, enjoy it. So these are my mice right here. I hope you can see them. It's kind of hard. I'm not used to doing this digitally. Um, okay, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a family of mice and they went to play in the meadow. They knew when they were in the meadow that they had to be very careful though, because snakes like to hang around the meadow and snakes like to eat mice. But they were on the lookout and it was a beautiful sunny day, much like it is today. And they were playing and having so much fun, but eventually they got tired and they fell asleep. And while they were asleep, they forgot to watch out for snakes. But while they were sleeping, along came a slithery snake, slipping through the grass ever so quietly. And he was feeling pretty hungry because it was lunchtime after all. Well, while he was slithering through the grass, he saw the mice. <gasps> mice! Yay, I'm so hungry! So he slithered back to get his jar. He took off the lid and he counted out the mice. Will you help him count, boys and girls? One, two, three mice. Three mice! Mouse count! Three mice you would think would be enough, but no. I'm still hungry. I need to find more mice. So he kept slithering through the grass until he found more. Will you help him count, boys and girls? Four, five, six, seven. Seven should be enough mice, don't you think, friends? Mm -mm. Seven mice isn't enough. I need more mice. Help me count, boys and girls. I'm going to go find some more. Eight, nine, ten. Ten mice. Mouse count. Yay. He was going to eat them all up, but you know what happened, boys and girls? When he put the last mouse in there, it woke up and it told the other mice, oh, no, the snake has got us. We're in the jar. But don't worry, I have a plan. So one of them, I said, hey, snake. Hey, snake. Yes? Why don't you go over there and get that big mouse in the grass over there? I think that you should have 11 mice. 11 mice? Yes, I should. So as a snake went slithering through the grass, to try to find another mouse. The mice in the jar all worked together and they rocked it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until eventually they knocked it over and they were all able to run away safely home. Well, as the snake slithered through the grass, he came to the 11th mouse and guess what it was boys and girls? A rock. Oh, well, I still have 10 mice in my jar. No problem. So he slithered back through the grass to get to the jar. And when he got there, he saw that it was empty. Oh, no. But don't worry. All the mice are safe at home. And the snake will have to find something else to eat. Thanks for joining us for the story. I'll be back tomorrow with something else. Who knows what it'll be. If you guys have any requests of stories or songs, send me a uh, message by my email, avoncoopdirector at gmail.com um, or uh, post it to our Facebook page or send us a Facebook message um, and I'll see what I can do for you guys, okay? 
Okay, bye. Have a good afternoon. Enjoy the sunshine.